Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to program Arduino in VS Code using Platform IO on Ubuntu. So let's get started. First open the VS Code and go to the extension view by clicking on the extension icon in the sidebar. Search for Platform IO and click on the install button. The installation will take a couple of minutes. Platform IO is a cross-platform IDE which provides the same interface to multiple platforms and multiple frameworks. Now click on the Platform IO icon. In the background, Platform IO is downloading the required packages, so it will take a couple of minutes. If you encounter any error, make sure to install Python environment using command line, like this. After the installation is successful, restart the VS code. Next click on platform IO icon in the sidebar and then click on open. Here we have option to create a new project, import Arduino project, open existing project and access project examples. There are also tabs for projects, project inspection and libraries. In the libraries tab you can search for the library you want to use. For example I will search for Adafruit. And here are the libraries from Adafruit. You will see the supported boards here. And the next tab is for the platforms. You will need to install the platform for the board you will be using. In my case I will be using ESP32. So I will search for ESP32 and install the ESP32 platform. This will take couple of minutes. Ok, now platform has been successfully installed. Connected devices will appear here like serial devices. Let's create a simple project. Select the board, select the platform and directory and the project name. And then click on finish. For the first time, the setup will take a couple of minutes. If you see the project explorer, platform IO has generated few files and folders for our project. The .pio folder contains the platform IO project configuration files, while the .vs code folder contains the vs code configuration files. We also have the include, lib, test and src folders. The src folder contains the source code files. The platform.ini file contains the configuration and project environment variables such as platform name, board type and framework. The detailed documentation on how to add environmental variables to this file can be found here. Let's write a simple LED blinking code and try to compile it. As you can see, the compilation is working properly. Now let's upload the code. We got an error during upload. This happened because we did not specify the upload port number in the platform.ini file. Let's update the file with the correct port number and try uploading the code again. 
awesome upload is working fine now now let's now we'll add serial prints in the code and don't forget to mention the monitor speed as well in the platform.ini file so that's all for today if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel thanks for watching